Yo, what's going on guys? Combo Breaker 99 and I'm back with another little video. I uh, just wanted to do a quick little uh, post fight of Dimitri Bivol and Sullivan Barrera. Now, I'm not going to lie. I actually just watched this fight last night, uh, Sunday night, because uh, I was caught up in the Wilder Ortiz, you know, moment um, and watching that whole Showtime car. My plan was to flip back and forth between both. But, uh, you know, I just got caught up in that that whole uh, that whole fight, man. It was it was that entertaining. But um. You know, I'm, I'm kind of sad that I missed it, the Barrera Bivol fight at the moment because it, it was a good one, man. Uh, I have to say congratulations to Dimitri Bivol. He was able to score a very dominating, uh, brutal 12 round knockout over uh, Sullivan Barrera, man. Um, from round one, he really set the pace of the fight, man. He just uh, was able to dictate it with his, uh, his power and his speed. And it was kind of crazy because I guess uh, Barrera, he felt that power already in the beginning of the fight because he kind of, uh, he didn't do some of the things he was used to. He didn't really try to swarm or get in on the inside against um, against uh, Bivol like he did against Joe Smith Jr. You know, he was, uh, he was a little bit more tentative at times. I mean, he was kind of, I'd like to say he was kind of overthinking some of the exchanges. That's why uh, Bivol was kind of getting the better of him. He was landing those really quick combinations and, I don't mean just like really feather-fisted combinations. He was landing some good power shots. You know, he was landing some good heavy power shots. You know, like those one, twos, and threes were, all had bad intentions on him, you know. And um, that's kind of how the whole fight went. He was just really, really cracking in the uh, Sullivan Barrera's uh, spotty defense. And um, that's something uh, Barrera has to kind of work on, you know. You know, he's a little bit slower, so he kind of has to be quicker with the with the hands-high defense and, you know, blocking them, them head shots because the left hook, Left hook was finding his home really good, as well as that right hand from uh, Bivol. And um, I really can't give – it's really hard for me to give any round any round to just dominate, and I felt like he was dictating the pace of the fight as well as landing the better punches. You know, um, he he just really had Barrera on the back foot, which surprised me. You know, Barrera, he's used to coming forward, but he had Barrera on the back foot quite a few times. And – Whenever he tried to back Bivol up, Bivol would land those hard punches and, you know, kind of stand his ground more. So that's what kept the fight in the center of the ring. But um, the thing that really surprised me, too, was just the size difference, man. I didn't know that Bivol was that much. Um, I didn't know he looked he would look that much smaller than Barrera. You know, I, I know Barrera, you know, has big arms. He's a big guy. But, man, I was like, this dude here, I was like, he looks like a super middleweight compared to Barrera. But the thing is, you know, he was just landing these hard shots, man. It was like, this this guy really packs power, you know, in a in a smaller frame, and I find that impressive, man. Um, because he's really he really has some natural power there, man. But all the way up to the twelfth uh, round, I felt like he was really he was really just chopping him down, man. Um, he was really chopping Brera down, and right before that right hand landed, there was a hard left jab that landed that just kind of that kind of uh, knocked his head back, you know, and I think that's what kind of rocked him because when the jab landed, you know, the right hand, the right hand followed and it dropped him. And after that, you know, he did, when he got up, I could tell he didn't want anymore because, you know, when the referee stopped it, you know, that was it, you know, that was it. Um, You know, never seen Barrera defeated like that. You know, we see him down and get back up, but that, that, that was really evidence that he was really just getting dominated. And that was evidence of, uh, you know, just being beat, being beaten by a better puncher, man. That's why I really take my hat off to Brer for taking this fight. You know, not many would, but um, I take my hat off to him too because you know he's had a long, hard road. You know, he's been fighting a lot of guys. He's been um, trying to get that championship. You know, he he'll face he'll face anybody. But uh, from here, you know, I like to see him kind of work on some things. His defense, uh, you know, work on that. Just since he's a little bit slower, you know, he might want to work on you know more hands high defense to try to block those head shots a little bit, you know, work on his timing. But uh, overall, uh, Bivol, you know, like I said, Bivol, I felt like he had to show me something. He proved he proved something to me. You know, he definitely showed that he has a discipline to go 12 and, you know, kind of methodically break somebody down. You know, at 12 and 0, I didn't really expect that. But, you know, now I, I, I can see what kind of what kind of fighter he is, you know, uh, not just depending on the knockout because he never really was. Uh, he was just kind of taking it, taking it slow. And, you know, he's going to take it as it came. Um, from here, man, I, I think I would like to see him in there with uh, Better Biev or somebody like that, you know, kind of Better Biev has been, 
making noise for a while. You know, people have been mentioning him, but they haven't been putting him in there with the right people, you know, so he's just been kind of beating the, the past light heavyweights that, you know, Kovalev and those guys have already seen, but he still has yet to break through, man, and it's about time for him to break through. So let, let's go ahead and get Bivol and uh, better be of that fight out of the way and see who's the better of those two, you know, the promising light heavyweights. And then um, as for, uh, you know, Kovalev, you know, he had an easy fight against uh, Igor uh, McCollin. And um, th that fight, you know, I j it just shows you again that Kovalev didn't really miss a step. You know, it was a seven-round stoppage. You know, he was just taking uh, taking McCollin apart, beating him up with that 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 solid jab and right hand that he's that he's known for. Like, um, I can't really say that uh, he was ever really rusty. You know, he was just in there with a, uh, when I think of Andre Ward, he was just in there with a the better fighter that night. But now that he's... Uh, out of the war, out of the war mind frame and the war, you know, <laughs> those, those uh, little uh, wars, the ward wars, as I call them, you know, he's uh, been able to kind of get back on his uh, light heavyweight track. So uh, from here, from here, you know, he's already fought some easy guys, Shabransky, Igor. I think Kovalev should go for the uh, Badu Jack Adonis Stevenson winner. You know, that's that next tier of fighters, you know, where they've already kind of proven themselves. So that's where Kovalev is. That's the winner he has to go for. Whereas I feel Bivol, he's kind of got to go for somebody like better be able to still kind of, you know, weed out those other, those other animals. And, you know, then he can get up there, you know, but uh, any way it would happen, they're all good light heavyweights, you know, uh, I would like to see any of those fights, you know, cause any of them spell good fight, man. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about uh, Bivol's performance and who he should fight next as well as what's next for uh, Barrera at this point. Yeah. Like again, like I said, shout out to uh, Barrera, man. Um, still, still a solid fighter in my book, you know as well. Um, you know, big things for Bill from here. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe, and uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see y'all guys later. Peace.